Hey folks, my name is Stefan, I am a photographer from Germany and today I want to show you how you can realize that kind of fruity milk splash pictures. The cool fact is that everybody could take that kind of pictures. A studio is not necessary. All you need is a bowl, a lot of milk, maybe three or four liters, strawberries, of course your camera and two flashes. At the beginning I'm going to show you my setup. I have a Nikon camera, but it doesn't matter which camera do you use. It's pointing directly into the bowl full of milk. It stands a little bit higher to have a view right from the top. I use a 70 to 200 mm lens. Try to be as far away as possible from your object to avoid any splashes on your gear. Then we have two flashes, each on one side to bright up the picture and freeze the motion. As the camera, it stands a little bit higher and pointing directly into the milk. To save my gear, I bought plastic bags that there's no chance to have any trouble with the splashes. On the top of my camera, I have a wireless trigger to control my flashes. The receivers are right under my flashes. I use a pocket wizard, but again, any wireless trigger would work. Now it's time to set up the flashes. I use the manual mode and both of them have a 30 seconds of power. As smaller the power, as shorter is the flash duration. And only the flash duration is important to freeze the action in your picture. So, take care of your flash duration and always use the smallest power as possible. The camera has an aperture of f30, a shutter speed of a 250 second and ISO 100. The white balance is set on flash. And of course we shoot in RAW to have any option later in Photoshop and Lightroom. So when we shoot without our flashes, we would see totally darkness because of our settings. Only the flashes control the light and the freezing motion in our picture. So let's turn on our flashes and our receivers and let's start shooting. Now hold the strawberry right on the point where it's going to fall into the milk and focus your camera. Then turn the focus to manual to avoid any further adjustments. With one hand I will let the strawberry fall into the milk and with the other hand I will shoot with my camera. It's a question about timing, so don't be angry when not everything is perfect after two or three shots. That's it! As you can see, there is no secret behind. If you liked the video, then subscribe to my channel and on the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can edit the photos later in Lightroom and Photoshop. So I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye.